Okay, so I had a request for a video tour for my listing at 28815, I'm sorry, 28855 Windflower Lane in Conifer. Um, here's the front of the house. Here's the front yard with the pond. Um, one of our favorite spots to hang out. Those, uh, those birdhouses have swallows nesting in them. It's kind of the front yard area. Some rocks that need to get moved still by closing. Those are the frogs that live in the pond that you can hear. Um, fenced the yard in August. I guess I'll start outside. There's a front walkway. Entry to the house. Take a quick peek, then actually we'll come back. Let's just make a little bit of a circle. So, come through the gate. Uh, I've been originally planning to continue this flagstone walkway out here and do a big flagstone patio, which I still think would be awesome. Uh, about an acre of this is fenced with six foot livestock fencing. If we don't have livestock here, just a giant dog. Um, you may be able to have livestock. You want to research that. Uh, just a little storage. Here's your gas meter so you know where it's at. Um, kids' play structure and sandboxes and all of that good stuff. Just kind of walking through the backyard. Oh, and a couple more kids left outside. <laughs> Um, we have done all the mitigation. There's still a couple down trees that need to be cut up that have been taken down. You've got about an acre or so fenced. The property actually continues beyond the back fence about 40 or 60 feet. That's where the leach field is. From over here, you can kind of see one of the great things about this property is the views. So this is over by the swing set. It's a good place to watch the sunset. Kinda. It's pretty private because of the trees. Got a wood shed up there. More functional than it is pretty. Put in all these retaining walls and pathways last year. Um, and seeded it with grass. So it's starting to poke up a little bit. A lot of water and maybe a little prayer and maybe some more grass seed and it'll be back. Um, got a chicken coop over here. Uh, half of this chicken coop is garden shed. The other half is just chickens. Um, it's a big coop, it's covered. That's Delilah and chicken soup. We've got a three season greenhouse, solar battery, and just kind of the pathways in here, flower beds, just the back patio. Come back around, we'll just make a big circle. Hi girls. Hi ladies. Oh, we won't make a big circle because I forgot to unlock this gate. <laughs> we'll go back to the front. I did not unlock the house yet in the back. So we'll go through the front door. Makes more sense anyway. It's kind of just the back of the house. More mountains. They're still there. This is my personal home. Um, so it is agent owned. A little bit of information on it. The roof is certified for another three years or so. Um, I got a five year roof certification in 2019. 
the furnace and hot water heater, which are located down here in the crawl space, um, those were replaced with a high efficiency gas in December. And um, the floors were just refinished on the main level. Um, what else? Obviously I'm doing a home warranty. Uh, I think that's about it. Come up here on the deck. Um, this lower deck needs to be redone. I didn't have time to redo it before I put my new house under contract. So a buyer is gonna get to do that piece. Gotten to the verbal quotes between eight and twelve thousand dollars. I can point you to a contractor to do that after closing, if you'd like. Upper deck has been done. Uh, these decks are pretty large. I think the upper one is eighteen by twenty or so. Here's the views from the upper deck. You get to see the neighbor's truck as well. Hopefully I didn't make you too dizzy. But there you went all the way around. And let's head into the house. Don't let the kitties out. They're jerks. So come on, we've got these great stone floors. In the entryway, I have the same thing in the laundry room way over there. I don't know if you can see it. Oops. Living room. When I bought this house, all the ceilings were orange and all the walls were red and purple. And I've eliminated a lot of that. There's still a little bit, but it's just paint. Um, that is a pellet stove. Uh, there's dining room. It's open to the living room. Off the dining room, we have... The laundry, back door, pantry, and then the kitchen. So here's your kitchen. Oh, I should, here's the views from the living room too. Just so you know, because that's what, it's kind of the wrong time of day for it, but here. There's views from the living room. Back to the dining room. Here's the kitchen. Just views from the kitchen sink. Out here. Try to take a step back so you can see the whole kitchen instead of being in it. Floors are recently refinished. We've got the kids' bathroom here. New mirrors in here, new paint. You know, it's looks like a bathroom. It's hard to do a kind of a, it's probably an eight by 10 or something, 10 by 12, I don't know what it is, bathroom. It doesn't, it's hard to get that on camera. Um, I love this stone in here. This is the backside of the original fireplace and all the barn wood. Um, pop in here. This is my daughter's room. This is the room I wish I had when I was a kid. So underneath that loft in the middle bookshelf, you can actually take that out. It has a false back. So you can use it for storage or you could use it for whatever kid hidey hole. Um, you could also take the whole loft out if you wanted. Here she used from her room out here. Our little bed. She's got this great straight east view in the morning. A lot of times our whole family will come in here and watch sunrises from this window. Um, I'll try not to go too fast. I don't want to make you dizzy. I love these doors. It has these custom barnwood doors on the bedrooms and closets. The closets are small. Um, in the kids' rooms, they're not, they're not huge, but they're, you know, this one is bigger than the other kid bedroom. It's, yeah, it's not exactly a walk-in closet, but it's enough. Um, built-in bookshelves, 
the previous owner had an artist paint all these tiles. You'll see them kind of around the house. Um, here is a little hallway, and this goes to the other kid bedroom. At least that's what we use it for, my son's room. Um, got, one thing I like is we have these cool light fixtures throughout the house, too. Um, here's the view out his window. This room. We don't fall on the toys. Here's the master. So this is the original part of the house, is the master. Um, it's got these big vaulted cathedral ceilings covered with barn wood. You've got tongue and groove ceilings, lots and lots and lots of windows. That whole wall is a built-in bookcase which you might be able to tell we read a little bit. <laughs> that was a huge selling point for us. Maybe not for everybody, but we liked it. Those are the loft stairs. We'll go up there in a minute. Here's the original fireplace for the house. Um, I restored that and put in a wood-burning insert. Um, here's the master bath. Primary bathroom. This is another thing I just love about this house is this tub. Obviously a toilet over there. Um, it, it's like a toilet. But this tub has some great views. Um, also, you can watch the sunset from the tub. So you're facing west right now. Um, and then out here, this is what I usually see from my shower in the morning is that part of the forest. Got glass shower, custom tile work. Uh, hard to get the whole thing in here. It's a little narrow. Uh, great big walk-in closet in here. So there's a walk-in closet, another window. And then if you come through here, up the loft steps. I use this space as a home office. You could use it as a playroom. You could use it as a storage. I don't know. Um, and that is Pocket the cat. Hi, Pocket. She's finally come out of hiding. She didn't like it from being here, I imagine. It's pretty, pretty good sized space. Um, these Desks, they're not exactly built in, but I wouldn't take them. They could convey. Bookshelves up here could convey. There's the views out the window here. Um, and you've got another two more windows, but they're all, you know, they're all looking the same direction. Let's see. <laughs> I've got this one open because it gets warm when the lights are on up here. And I went on all day, so I left that window open. Whew, it is warm. I usually run the fan when I'm working up here in the summertime. For some reason, there's, there's a lot of those ceiling lights and they get kind of warm. That is, that is the whole house. That is, uh, here's the master again. Yeah, hopefully that gives you an idea of the floor plan. Uh, and if it'll work for you guys, let me know. Any questions, you can reach out to me, 720-485-1500. I will talk to you guys soon.